Welcome back to the channel and to this episode of the Racing Roundup where we look over the racing that happened over the weekend. Starting off with the Many Clouds chase at Ascot and it's our protector at run out a 26th length winner of the Many Clouds, beating Native with it into second in a race where only three of the runners finished. That was a very impressive performance, stepping up to three miles after finishing second in the Paddy Power Gold Cup handicap at Cheltenham. And that performance with Budget Andrews in the saddle was very good and also a very, very big winner for Budget in her career. It'll be interesting to see where this horse goes next. It's been questioned about will it actually go to the Gold Cup itself. And after that performance, stepping up to three miles and on soft ground, which probably wouldn't suit the horse, it did perform very well and won very easily in the end. In that same race, we also saw Tiger Roll, who there was lots of question marks over why it was running in that race. I think it's clear connections do want it dropped if they're going to bid for a third gone national. It was pulled up off a mark of 165 and it never really looked like getting involved in the race. But of course, it won the Glen Farkles chase by 18 lengths three starts ago, so I don't think the handicapper will be dropping the horse too quickly, though it should drop another couple of pounds after that performance. It'll be interesting to see where he goes next. Gordon Elliott said he might go for the ball and hurdle, and you think he will be aimed for Cheltenham, the Glen Farkles chase at the Cheltenham Festival. On that note, Gordon Elliott is in very good form himself. He landed a 37,204 to 1, seven time out Nivan, winning the remaining seven races on the card. And that was some feat. Commander of the Fleet won a big handicap of 40 to 1, and that was also a very impressive performance for that horse. Moving over to the Sandown, it was the big trainers coming to the fore. First off with Constitution Hill for Nicky Henderson. This £120,000 purchase after a point-to-point -point second won very impressively by 14 lengths and the way it quickened past my eye in the home straight was very impressive and it'll be very exciting to see him in the future. Also on that card we saw third time Lucky who has been all the rage this season after going novice chasing but he did underwhelm massively to be honest. He did jump well but Harry Skelton went off in front and he tired alert and Edward Stone was a very game performance winning the grade one. Later in the card it was all about Paul Nichols as he won the Tingle Coik and he had the second home as well. Granatine won for Barney Frost and it was great to see the reaction of the crowd after she's had a very tough time of things and she continues to win big races. You'll remember early on in the season when she went over to Ireland and won the Lodbrokes Champion Chase and she's also won a great three aboard Yale Enki so she is racking up them big race successes even with everything going on in the background. Later on in the card, the final listed race, we saw some relative win for Paul Nichols and Harry Cobden at 8-1 to one as well. That was a very pleasing performance after this horse was thought highly of and was gambled on on a handicap hurdle at Cheltenham into 5-2 to two, but ultimately failed to deliver. But he bounced back to form with an impressive 8 length win and he will be shooting up the handicap. So that's my horse and weekend rounded up. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below on who your most impressive performance was this weekend.